This is Lucy Burge with Good Nights This Week in Music History. We begin in 1969 when Creedence Clearwater Revival started a four-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Green River. In 1970, Jimi Hendrix was buried in Seattle. Also in 1970, Janis Joplin was found dead at the Landmark Hotel Hollywood after an accidental heroin overdose. In 1976, Jerry Lee Lewis was celebrating his birthday and accidentally shot his bass player, Norman Owens, in the chest. Owens survived, but then he sued Jerry Lee Lewis. In 1977, the body of Elvis Presley was moved from the cemetery where he was buried to Graceland after an unsuccessful attempt was made to steal the coffin. In 1980, Queen started a three-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Another One Bites the Dust. In 1984, Prince and the Revolution started a two-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Let's Go Crazy. In 1992, Sinead O'Connor ripped up a photograph of Pope John Paul II on SNL, live TV, as a protest over sexual abuse in the Roman Catholic Church. NBC was fined $2.5 million by the FCC for that. And in 1996, a Pearl Jam show in Hartford, Connecticut, ended in a riot when mass fighting broke out among the crowd of over 30,000 people. This has been Lucy Burge with Good Nights This Week in Music History. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Lucille Burge for both.